So today I thought that I would share our Halloween decorations. Here comes Olivia. You got sparkles all over you, huh? It's from your lush bath bomb. So today I thought I would share our fall decorations with you guys. So here it goes. All right. So it's kind of hard to see because our windows are so bright, it's difficult to see the decorations. So I'll kind of come this way, but this is our window. We have a really nice window still here, which I decided to decorate mostly. This is pretty much like the only decorations we have, but we do have a couple things in the living room. So I'll just kind of make my way from right to left. Another thing to add is we are just starting out on our Halloween decorations, so we don't have a whole lot yet, and they're kind of, you know, it's kind of expensive when you go shopping for this and that and this and that. So we thought we would just kind of build things over the years. So plus Olivia's really scared of a lot of things, so we have to be careful. Starting from right to left, here we have a little cute nest that's made out of sticks. We put a little tea light candle in the middle of it. We thought it would be cute. We also have these cute little table mats um, that are orange, just really, really festive. And then over here, we, this is our guinea pig calendar. We got this as a gift, and this is for the month of October. Aren't these guinea pigs so cute? I think they're adorable. Um, and then next, we got this really pretty little leaf, fabric leaf display. It goes all the way over there. Really, really pretty. I really love that. I got it last year. And this is something new that I got this year. This is kind of our spookiest thing and most Halloweenish thing. This is a vase. It's made of charcoal. I thought it looked really, really cool and spooky. And I thought it would go good with these plastic black roses. And this one's cool. It's got like a skeleton hand coming out of it. And so we put that one kind of in center. Um, very, very cool. I really like how that turned out. And then um, moving over here, we have this, which I still have to put a little candle in, but it's basically like a little tea, tea light candle holder. Really, really cool looking, very modern. Um, and then we have a citrine crystal here, which is kind of always there, but because it's a little bit orangey, it goes with the Halloween theme. And then this is my favorite thing of all. Let me try to film this so you can get the colors. There we go. That's much better. Because it's at the window, you couldn't really see the colors. Uh, but I got this really cool candlestick holder. There's an owl on it, and it's black, and I just love it. I think it's perfect for fall. And then for the sake of Halloween, I went with a really dark purple candle and a really dark red. Um, probably after Halloween's over, I'll go with more neutral colors, but I thought that would be really fun for Halloween, so I'll go ahead and put it back over there. Oh, so there is where it lives. In person, obviously, you can see the colors, but the camera won't pick it up, so there's that. And then um, I got this Yankee Candle. Um, it's in the scent Witch's Brew, and this smells so good. It just reminds me of Halloween night so, so much. Um, and it does burn actually quite well. At first I wasn't really smelling it, but now that it's burning down, I can smell it really good. So really, really cool Halloween-ish little theme going on on the candle as well, so. Over here I just have a cool pumpkin that I got from the grocery store. We'll probably eat him after Halloween's over. And then this little corner here, we've got, again, another bird's nest of sticks with a candle, a red candle from Ikea. Um, we've got this really cool acorn candle holder. We put a candle inside and it shines a really pretty color. I'll be showing everything what it looks like lit up at the end of this video. And um, this is a cute hedgehog <laughs> that I got last year. How cute is he? He's just adorable. And he was a little bit expensive from the garden store we used to live by, but I loved him. I had to get him. So now moving into the living room. Um, we don't have a lot. I got this lantern, which was sitting on our window still, but I put it up here because we didn't really have any more room for it in there. Uh, but I decided to put a black candle in it just to make it a little bit more festive. It's in the same scent, um, Witch's Brew by Yankee Candle. I also got this cute little lantern, um, and then we have a bonsai tree, which is dead. <laughs> we were not very good at looking after it, but it looks great for fall, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, about us on that one. We went on holiday, and then it died. So we have this really cool tree that looks like it's got a whole bunch of pumpkins. I don't actually remember what it's called. He's sitting out on our balcony. Right now our herbs aren't doing very well because it's getting very cold. It's a very, very beautiful fall day out today. Very windy and cold. Yeah, it's cold, huh, Olivia? 
So that is all of our Halloween decorations for this year. I'll go ahead and insert a little clip of what everything looks like at night all lit up because I'm sure it's going to look very, very cool for you guys. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye!